Alright guys, so today we're going to be attempting the Indian Challenge. You guys have asked me to do this a few times uh, lately, so I thought I'd give it a try. Basically, it's just a spot and stock challenge using the longbow and using no other items such as optics or anything like that. So what I've done is turned off tracking cones to make it a bit more challenging, as well as changed the key for the hunter mate so I don't just accidentally equip it out of instinct. So the only time we'll use that is to claim the animal that we can potentially kill. I am wearing the trapper outfit because I thought that was an appropriate clothing choice uh, for this type of hunt and I have spawned here at the south lodge rather than at a tent just because I wanted to make it uh, that much more challenging as well as that much more realistic uh, just to avoid all equipment on the map. So we're going to head north and see if we can make a spot and stock on a deer. Alright guys we have spotted a mule deer buck and it sounds like there's a doe around here as well. I can't tell how big he is right now, but he doesn't look uh, all that large. He is kind of walking towards us, but to the right. Oh, there's a white-tailed doe right there. I hadn't even I hadn't even seen her yet. Uh, but she has us spotted, so we're gonna have to stay low and either let her pass or shoot her. And the buck is kind of turning, so he's not walking at us anymore. So I think we are going to try to shoot the doe. Uh, she's kind of coming where we need her to go anyway for a shot. So if we just keep crawling, uh, she should walk basically right where we need her to go. Obviously we can't range her, but we're going to get as close as we can because I don't think she'll spook. The trapper outfit does have some um, effects on deer species. I'm not entirely sure what they are. But I think it's similar to the Boone and Crockett outfit, if not the same. So when she gets like broadside uh, to us, then we're going to stand up to shoot. Alright. I'm thinking she should stop pretty soon. Maybe not. Down she goes. All right, so that's one uh, deer down. I'm hoping to get that mule deer buck at least as well. So we'll claim her. Double lung shot at just 9.5 meters. All right, let's see if that mule deer buck's still around. He should be because I think he was pretty far when we took that shot, but we're still going to have to be careful. And we'll see if we can find him. Alright, so I'm thinking that mule deer buck did spook from the shot because I'm not seeing any sign of him. I crouched around uh, trying to stay low so I wouldn't spook him and now I'm just walking over where we saw him. So either he completely turned around like right after we saw him or he spooked. So we're just going to keep moving and see if we find something else because he wasn't all that big. Alright, we got a mule deer doe walking to our right. So we're trying to uh, stay ahead of her so we can get a shot when she shows up. Um, haven't really been finding much. Ended up going back south of the lodge, and that's where, uh, ended up seeing this doe, but I don't know if that was this one or another one that sounded far away, uh, for the one that's only, like, 40 to 50 meters from us right now, but I don't know. I couldn't see whether or not she called or not, but regardless, oh, there is another one. A whole group of them maybe uh, behind her but we're focused on getting this uh, first one so this whole spot and stock challenge the hardest part is actually finding animals like without the ability to track or call them in when you hear a call it's really hard to actually just locate them okay I hear footsteps I saw it for just a second there. All right, we're going to have a pretty good shot opportunity here. Hopefully we can get at least single lung. Uh, that way the tracking wouldn't be too incredibly difficult. That is lung blood, I believe. So now we'll see about actually uh, tracking a deer without the use of the hunter mate so we got some blood here and I know she went this way 
Uh, so we'll see how this goes. It should be interesting uh, to see if we can actually find her. I know she should run like less than 250 meters total. So actually I should keep an eye on the area. It was just entering the trees here. It's kind of hard to specifically like ID the area without using the hunter mate, but we'll see what we can do here as far as finding her. I think it's going to be possible. I've done it without any tracks before, but normally that's just running in a straight line and hoping for the best, but as I said, we'll see what happens. Alright, so we've ran out of blood uh, a little while back. I think somewhere around here I did find body blood, though. I need to see if I can find that again, but that means she's not far away from wherever it was that I saw that. I'm not sure where it was anymore. Somewhere not far from here, I think. But I know she was going like this way. So we're just going to go this way and maybe we'll find her. As I said, she's not going to be far, so I don't think uh, that I'll have to run very far uh, before we find her. But yeah, I just don't know if we'll be able to. It's really, really difficult uh, trying to do this uh, without any aid from the hunter mate. It makes it a lot easier than it seems like, especially like the lung blood was pretty easy to follow, but once it got down to tracks, I think I found maybe one set and then just happened to run into body blood, which was by another set. But yeah, it's just been really, really difficult to actually find anything. Is that a rock? Or is that, that might actually be her. I can't tell. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> All right then. That was difficult, but we'll claim her. It was just a single lung shot. All right. I'd like to get a buck at some point uh, before we're done here, but this has proved to be quite uh, hard and a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. But we'll see if maybe we can find one buck uh, before we end this video. Alright, I hear footsteps, and I think it's a deer. I can't really tell, but it sounds like it's coming right at us, so we're just going to stay here and see. Yeah, it looks like a white-tailed doe. Just got to move to get all the leaves out of our way. Down she goes. I think that was a heart shot, because that was kind of low actually it was lung liver but at least it dropped her and we don't have to go through all the tracking so we're just gonna keep moving towards the south point of the map because I think that's gonna be ideal for uh, having anything actually walk kind of our direction so hopefully there's a buck down there that we can kinda of do that with because if they walk uh, all the way to the beach obviously at some point they're gonna have to turn and that's kind of my strategy uh, for this but we'll see how it goes all right I believe we have a white tail buck walking towards us and actually I'm hearing something to the left as well uh, actually that buck is moving away from us I just caught a glimpse of it let's see what this is in front of us I haven't seen whatever this is so I have no idea It's a white tail buck as well. And he's quite close. That should have been a long shot. It sounds like there were animals everywhere. <laughs> I only knew of that one buck because I seen him and then I waited. And this looks like a single lung shot, so we're going to have to track him. Fortunately, I have an idea of where he went. So hopefully we can find him, and I think we're going to call it a video there. That was kind of cool having that buck come out of nowhere thinking the other one was the one I uh, would end up getting, but I guess that's just what happens when you're not calling or anything. You have no idea what's in the area and not using the hunter mate to ID calls because I had heard multiple grunts. It's very possible that both of those bucks grunted and I thought it was the same one. 
But anyway, we're going to keep tracking this guy. I think it's going to be a little easier to find than the does since we're not in a bunch of trees. Uh, but hopefully we can find them uh, without too much trouble. Alright, I believe that's our buck uh, in this grass here. We're going to run up and check it out, but I'm pretty sure that that's him. And indeed it is. Looks like we spooked another one. That was probably that other one that we saw. So let's claim him. 119.9. Got a shoulder blade and lung shot, so that's why, or at least most likely why it didn't penetrate both lungs. But I think we'll take a trophy shot just to end the video. Alright, so I think this looks pretty good. That was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, it might not look as hard as it was uh, in the video, obviously because of all the editing. But that took over two and a half hours just to get these few kills. And it was really hard tracking as well. So that being said, I think I would actually like to try it again maybe on a different map. But let me know what you guys think if you'd like me to try it again. I think I would be down for that. But yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.